cat it's maximus here just on just a quick little video about this icon hard face 32 ounce dead blow hammer 16 ounces in a pound this makes it two pounds unfortunately it's a bit misleading and the reason for that is is that it's rating the amount of material in the dead blow the amount of floating material so two pounds of that it's not including these solid steel faces so this hammer actually physically uh, has more head weight than the three pound 48 ounce large icon dead blow hammer so it's a little bit misleading i wish they would maybe at least have two different numbers on there one is the amount of floating material two uh, actually how heavy the head of the hammer really is anyway these are 55 dollars at harbor freight and to mention Harbor Freight's prices are, uh, they have issues where their website lists prices that are cheaper than many times in the store. But it's not all the time. It's not with all the products, not even with all the stores. It's really kind of crazy. Had an issue with the Quinn ratcheting box uh, box wrenches. They're 135 in the store, 90 online. Same thing with this guy. This guy, sometimes in the store, is a lot more than 40 bucks. This is 55 I actually didn't even pay 55 This didn't have a uh, packaging. It was on their discount area way back in the corner of the store if you haven't been in the harbor freight uh usually at least in my store way back in the very corner like the furthest away from the front doors they have an op open box area and so that's exactly what this was i'm not exactly sure although i'm don't know if it was maybe because it was dinged up who knows anyway i got it for 40 bucks not much of a discount but at least it was a, uh, a little bit Trying a new surface here. This is a genuine piece of DuPont Corian. Um, so just trying this as a different uh, surface. <laughs> Finally switch it up after five years on that old dirty <laughs> leather apron. So anyway, the whole purpose of a hard face dead blow hammer, this happens to be a ball peen where we have a rounded face and then a slightly convex face. These are pretty solid faces. If we, it's kind of hard to see but you can actually see the steel goes all the way in. So these faces are joined with the steel internal body structure. And then they overmold. You can even see some of the overmold splaying over there. Then they overmold the plastic over the entire hammer. The reason you would want a dead blow, hard face dead blow hammer is just for the same reasons that you would use a normal dead blow hammer. And that is, they're much better at doing things like crushing Terminator skulls. Actually, <laughs> It's getting towards Halloween, thought I'd throw that in there. The deal with dead blow and having this loose material is when you strike, it's not entirely a rigid structure. So you get less rebound, it's easier to control. So when you do something like hammer on a piece of wood, instead of a hammer wanting to bounce back, it just wants to hit and stay. And that's the whole purpose. So, so this can be particularly handy for you know, metal working, that type of stuff, where you just want to flatten out a piece of metal, maybe work it around a mandrel, or any number of other tasks, woodworking, where you just need something with uh, just a bit harder face than the traditional rubber or plastic faces on dead blows. It's always been the big issue with dead blows is, you know, you use them in automotive or industrial applications and trying to align parts, and you just end up tearing the heck out of the plastic face that's what these are. They're not a trusty cook. There are some American-made brands of these which are really competitively priced against the icons. And I certainly would recommend those. That one would be Trusty Cook. And Bailey Industrial Tools actually makes uh, American-made hammers like this. Dead Blow, Hard Face Hammers as, as well. So those are a couple of domestic brands. The Baileys are a little more expensive. I think they're around $65 for an equivalent hammer. But... That's a competitive price versus these Taiwanese made icons is it's uh, and that's actually what's surprising when I reviewed that other icon dead blow hammer. I was made well aware that uh, surprisingly enough, there are main USA de various dead blow hammers standard as well as hard face ones that are really close in price to overseas made ones. So definitely give the trusty cooks and Bailey's a look. There's a couple other brands. But other than that, it's still neat. I've never owned one of these. I wasn't even really aware of hard face uh, dead blow hammers, but I certainly uh, am going to get some use and, and 
I'm certainly going to be happy to use it. It's really nice having a hammer when you strike. You just don't have to worry about it bouncing where all the effort just hits. And it's kind of, especially when you're aligning parts and trying to drive, uh, you know, punches, that type of stuff. It's just being able to have a hammer that's just like a, a large kind of pushing action where you hit and then it just moves all the force forward or the kinetic energy into what you're doing rather than having it some of it reflect and reround the hammer definitely be can be pretty handy but as far as the you know overall build quality of this icon it does seem pretty nice to tell you the truth i mean the faces are all really nice they did get a very slight convex on the uh square face and i think it does have decent build quality and 55 dollars you know it's an okay price but it's definitely nothing special me paying 40 bucks for this on their discount shelf was kind of a one a lucky find uh and two makes it a bit more reasonable for being a taiwanese tool but that's been the big complaint about the icons is uh the fact that they are really they're so ex they're they're pretty well made but they're so expensive that um for many times the same price or just 10 or 20 percent more you can get you know american made german made uh, British made uh, all sorts of um, quote unquote uh, domestic or premium brands, and it really is uh, kind of a diminishment. You know, the, the deal with the icons, and what and I agree with a lot of people is the fact that really they should have just been like uh, an upgrade to the Pittsburgh Pros, they sh should have been better. But I think that for what they're charging for them. It's no longer really a tool brand that sets itself apart. It's not like you're getting Snap-on quality or <clears throat> Bailey or Trusty Cook quality for a lot less money. A lot of times it's just the same price. So you kind of have to uh, take what you can get. The only real difference is they do have a lifetime warranty and Harbor Freight has 1,200 stores. So if you're using it and the darn handle breaks or, you know, the head breaks off or you know, one of these hard faces somehow falls off, at least you can just take it into the Harbor Freight and swap it out for another one. If you have the receipt, I know that they've been getting kind of tough about that. Depends on the store. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.